good morning second standard student today i am explain the first round test social practice paper understood which subject social so here there are five mains are given how many mains five mains which are the five mains missing letters for what is the first main missing letters second main write true or false third main match the following fourth main fill in the blanks fifth main answer the following so these are all the five mains for first round test understood so today i explain all these mains so you also practice four or five times in your rough note i think all of you complete the class works so first for first round test there are two lessons are given which are the portions for first round test for social two lessons which are the two lessons my safety and our property these two lessons for first round test the questions also given to for two to this from these two lessons understood so my safety and our property so we collect all the questions from these two lessons so first main is missing letters what is the first main missing letters there are some of the letters are missing so you write the which letter is missing in that word understood so you learn this with spelling all these words there are 10 words are given so from 10 words there are five means are given for first round test so you learn all these 10 words with spelling so first read then you spell the letters what is the first one knife k n i f e what is the spelling of knife k n i f e knife second one is scissor s c i s s o r s c i s s o r scissor third one is first aid f i r s t first aid a i d aid fourth one is foot path p f o o t foot path p a p h foot path fifth one is zebra crossing z e b r a zebra crossing c r o s s i n g crossing sixth one public P U B L I C public. Seventh one hospital. H O S P I T A L hospital. H O S P I T A L hospital. Damage. D A M A G E damage. D A M A G E damage. Ninth one urinate. U R I N A T E urinate. Tenth one fair shop. F A I R fair shop. S H O P shop. Fair shop. Understood. Children, so you learn all these words with spelling in rough note. Huh? So once again, I read the all letters or words with letter N K N I F E knife. S C I S O S S O R C S O R F I R S T first aid A I D first aid F O O T foot P A T H path Z E B R A zebra C R O S S I N G crossing zebra crossing public P U B L I C public hospital H O S P I T A L hospital D A M A G E damage. Ninth one urinate U R I N A T E urinate. 
fair shop f a i r fair s h o p shop understood so these are all the 10 words in first main next main what is the next main right true or false so there are six sentences are given some sentences are true some sentences are false you write the, uh, the sentence is right you write f or the sentence is true you write t t understood so that's all you write t or f so i read the sentence you identify that is false or true we have traffic lights in playground we have traffic lights in playground that is wrong no so that is false you write false we have traffic lights in playground it is false second one we should follow the road safety rules we should follow the road safety rules that is true no we follow the road safety rules we should not play with sharp things we should not play with sharp things that is false so you write false oh, so sorry that is true we should not play with sharp things no that is correct so you write t third one is true we damage our public property that is false we should we damage our public property no so that is false a school is a public property that is true do not urinate public place that is also true understood so if the sentence is false you write false f the sentence is correct you write t that's all so you practice in rough note so once again i read the sentence first one we have traffic lights in playground that is false we should follow the road safety rules that is true we should not play with sharp things that is true we should we damage our public property that is false a school is public property that is true we do not urinate public place that is also true understood next next man is what is the next main match the following children third main is match the following there are two columns are there in first column in right column there is a six words and and left column left side is also six words are given you match which word is correct for a and uh, first uh, first column and second column you related words you connect them understood so which are the six words are given in uh, match the first may first column or right column doctor postman teacher farmer cross the road always walk on these are all the six words next in uh, left side there are they also given six words uh, a post office b hospital c village d school e footpath f zebra crossing understood so from right to left you which word is related to? Hmm? you connect the words so first one is doctor answer is hospital the doctor work in hospital no that b is correct that is suited to the doctor so you match the one to b understood second one postman where is the postman working you work in post office no that is a that is the correct answer second one a post office postman post office next third one teacher he works in school understood farmer village fifth one cross the road zebra crossing what is the correct answer zebra crossing where you cross the road zebra crossing sixth one is always walk on footpath he is matched to the six understood so always walk on footpath once again i read doctor hospital postman post office teacher school farmer village cross the road zebra crossing always walk on footpath understood so you practice in rough note 
with spelling understood children so next main what is the next main fill in the blanks fourth main is fill in the blanks so there are also six are given so the blanks the in sentence there is a blank or given you write the blank the correct word understood we should not play with dash things we should not play with dash things with what type of things sharp s h a r p sharp you spell the word s h a r p sharp we should not play with sharp things what do you write in sharp second one we should walk on the right side of road what do you write when fill in the in blank what do you write in blank right r i g h t we should walk on the right side of road third one we should not play or run on stairs staircase understood so we should not play on run on stairs s t a i r s fourth one A school is a dash property. What type of property is called? School is a public property. Public. Spell the words. Spell spell the word. P U B L I C. Public. Understood? Next. Rice, wheat are available at low price. In where? Fire shop. Where? In. Fire, you write fire shop. Relevant the words F E I R fire shop S H O P shop. Doctor works in dash. Where you doctor works? The doctor works in hospital. Spell the word H O S P I T A L hospital. Understood? Once again, I read the sentence. We should not play with sharp things. we should walk on the right side of road we should not play or run on stairs a school is a public property rice wheat are available at a low price in fair shop doctor works in hospital so these are all the for uh, fill up the blanks how many fill up the blanks are given six understood children so you learn the spelling after you write in the black the correct word so next main is answer the following so how many answer the following are given five understood so i think all are complete the class work so it is easy all of you open your class work i also complete the you write the two lessons class work no so which are the two lessons my safety and our property so answer what is the answer for first question what is the first question why should we walk on right side of the road all of you know the answer na no? open your class work why should we walk on the right side of the road we should walk on the right side of the road because we can see what is coming from the front and it is safe no we should walk on the right side of the road because we can see what is coming from the front and it is safe understood i think practice in rough note in 3 or 4 times understood after you close the class work and without class work you write practice understood next write any one safety rules that should be followed at home what do you follow write any three so one any one safety rules there are uh, three safety rules are given in your class work for any one you learn and right i read all three safety rules at home first one we should not play with match sticks electric switches or appliances understood we should not play with match stick electric switch or appliance first one second one 
we should not handle sharp objects on our own we should not handle sharp objects on our own third one we should not play or run on stairs understood there are three safety rules at home are uh, given in your class work you write any one and write any one safety rule and write and practice in your rough note next what is public property second lesson no that is the question of second lesson what is public property all of you open the class work public property there is answer in your class work no open the public property what is public property i read the answer open the class work is the property used by all the people what is the answer the property used by all the people in a town or a village is called public property once again i read the answer look at the class work the property used by all the people in the town or village is called public property understood third one from fourth one from where do we get post postal letters that is very easy na where do you get the postal letters from post office that's answer so we get postal letters from post office you write you learn the uh, uh, sp uh, spelling of post office and easy to write na p o s t post o f f i c e office post office we get postal letters from postal office next name any five public property there are so many public properties are there you write only five hospital school street light public tap and park so pub hospital h o s p i t a l hospital school s c h o o l school s t r e e street l i g h t light public tap p o p u b l i c public t a p tap park p a r k park so children these are all the five questions you practice in your rough note with spelling and close the class work and practice in your rough note with spelling and first you learn the spellings after you write in your rough note that is then you write the all mains in test very easily i think all of you practice the these mains understood thank you children bye